Let me tell you how I got into library science, I, if you don't laugh. I chose library science because I thought it would help me get a job so I could get paid. Not necessarily a job in a library. I thought about the skills I need for any good job that I might have. Research skills, organizing skills, technology skills, and writing. Turn out that library science has all the skills I was looking for. My goal was to build my skills and competencies. The way I saw it, if I always focus on improving my skills and competencies, I would never become obsolete. After three decades of my career in library science education, I still believe the same. My vision is to have a profession of the best, highly skilled, most competent librarians who are deeply embedded and engaged in the community. When 96% of funding for all public libraries in Texas comes from government budget, it means the community has the complete power to decide the success or failure of our libraries. That's not what we want. We want the community to, to say clearly that they see libraries as essential, not just nice to have. We want the community to believe that libraries are worth the support of their tax dollars. We want the community to assume that every school deserves a certified, highly qualified librarian to help children learn to read so that they could read to learn on their own. We want the community to loudly and affirmatively recognize the work of librarians, even before we tell them so. To get there, we must overcome the public perception that libraries are nice to have. We must be at the forefront of building relationships directly with all stakeholders right there in the community. We need to update the language we use to put more emphasis on our work as librarians, our professional skills and competencies, and make ourselves visible in the community. How do we know we are, we are visible in the community? The best indicator is to hear the word librarian spoken by members of our community loudly and affirmatively at every planning meeting every budget hearing, every community development brainstorming session, and every discussion on innovative urban renewal projects. To do so, we must use technology to facilitate community development. We must be savvy in research and assessment to prove our worth as librarians. We must speak the language of the community and we must strive with all our hearts to deliver what Scott Gross call positively outrageous service to our community at all times. Ultimately, we must rethink our perspective and re-anchor our own profession from what we have been doing so well inside the libraries to embed and integrate our skills and our work in all activities right there in the community. It is about time we appoint ourselves to be the most important members of our community and prove it to the community that our professional skills and competencies are the essential asset they know they cannot live without.